Well, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a severe immediate impact causing a contraction of the economy and the rise in unemployment, especially among the young people. At the same time, our previous challenges have not stopped, on the contrary. And I think in particular at the urgency to deal with the digital and green transitions. Fortunately, the European economy is rebounding much faster than predicted, and we can count on more growth. This is then the perfect time to go beyond recovery. We should take this opportunity to build back better and make Europe more resilient and more future-proof. For this, we need to reinforce our European economy for more competitiveness, prosperity, sustainability, leaving nobody behind. We also need to make the best of the green and digital transitions. Eurobarometer surveys show that two-thirds of EU citizens trust the EU to make the right decisions to respond to the pandemic. We cannot fail them and we need to do everything we can to emerge stronger after the crisis. The European Economic and Social Committee believes that we need a new narrative for the European Union, a new emotional link to our union. We need to show to people that Europe can indeed be a great place to be and to prosper. We have many instruments at our disposal. Just to give a few examples, the next generation EU, a stimulus of 800 billion euro. The Fit for 55 package to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions while taking action at the global level. But the best assets are our citizens and organized civil society. Europe needs to listen to them and truly act on their demands because it is up to them to say what kind of Europe they want for the future. 2021 marks EU's will to listen more to citizens and organize civil society. And this is what we see in the context of the Conference on the Future of Europe. I believe that the conference is a historical opportunity to reconnect and engage with its citizens and organize civil society and involve them in shaping our common future. The European Economic and Social Committee and the National Economic and Social Councils play a strong role in mobilizing more participation of citizens and CSOs in the conference platform. To have a credible exercise, the conference must produce tangible results. EU institutions will need to show in all transparency whether or not they are turning people's requests into EU initiatives. And if no action is taken on some ideas, the reasons must be explained. We need a dashboard to ensure transparency and accountability. In the context of the conference, it's absolutely key to listen to the voice of organized civil society. Social partners and other civil society organizations know best the situation on the ground and in particular in the labor markets. Their ideas can definitely contribute to increase the quality of policies to make them more adapted to the reality and better implemented. During our meeting with national ESCs from across Europe, our discussions confirmed the importance of participatory democracy. I'm also happy that this meeting will mark the beginning of a mobility project for organized civil societies that was proposed by the French ESC to improve the cooperation between ESCs and that I'm very happy to support. Thank you.